Howdy folks, Sharpie Point here. Today I'm going to talk to you more about the automation and what you can do with it in the new upgrade, the automation upgrade for oxygen not included. Here we're using automation in order which to grow our bristle blossoms. Combination of a few things that we're going to be using are atmospheric sensors, thermal sensors, liquid shutoff valves, gas shutoff valves, an OR gate, gas pump, and of course all of our bristle blossoms that are in this area here too. Now on the back we have thermal plates. The thermal plates are great to maintain the area at a specific temperature even if it's a very large area. So you'll see that here it's at 69 degrees. Up here 69.8 or 69.5. So the temperature up here due to these thermal plates maintains at a steady steady temperature. So how does our automation play an effect to this? Well, let's go to the automation overlay. You'll see here that each of these atmospheric sensors are connected to a gas valve, an OR gate, and then the final signal gets put out to this gas pump. So if either this atmospheric sensor or this atmospheric fit sensor activates, this gas valve, excuse me, gas pump will then operate, and depending upon which sensor is actually operating, as to where we need to provide more pressure or more gas. Now, our thermal sensors, they're connected to the gas, to these liquid valves. These liquid valves are then just basically just an on and off switch and it's controlled by the thermal switch. So we're trying to maintain a temperature of 60 degrees. Now eventually this will happen, but it does take time. Currently, inside that chamber is 67.1. So, our cool liquid, which in this case is oil, comes in at 14.9 and leaves at 42.1. So there's quite a bit of heat that is exchanged in the area. Which, is, which allows us to maintain a good temperature at which to, can, to grow our bristle blossoms. So this is a good, quick, and easy way to use automation in which to grow food for your duplicates. Now, in traditional methods, before our automation, we did have thermal sensors. We had atmospheric sensors, but then we used gas pumps, thermal regulators, in order to try to maintain that same temperature throughout our, our space. However, when the gas came in, say it was coming in here on the left side, by the time it reached our gas pump, which would be on the right side, the air or would have heated up quite a bit or maybe you only get a few plants to grow, or one, or two, or maybe none at all. So usually, it took quite a bit of time before you could actually get this at a maintained, steady, good temperature. And, it may, and, and you're consuming quite a bit of power in order to maintain that. By this method here, we're using minimal power, already using something that we've already got cooled, in which to transfer all that heat. Now all the pipes that are used in here are made from tungsten. Tungsten has a very high thermal conductivity of 60. So there's quite a bit of heat transfer that can happen through those pipes. So previous methods with the thermal regulators would maintain this temperature inside this chamber but it took quite a bit of time. So ultimately, I myself abandoned that idea and went for 
a new idea of using crude oil to cool down an area. If you have any other ideas on how to use the automation, I'd be more than happy to hear from you. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.